Virgos, hey y'all, hey, what is going on? Hey, my loves, hey, hey, my loves. I hope you guys are feeling amazing. I'm feeling amazing. About to drop in and come in with a quick read for you. We gonna quickly do what is going on between you and your person, surrounding energy, whatever it is you may need to know. You know how I do the evening readings. Get the sage, baby. Let's get this party started right, okay? Um, wow, and it's a lot of smoke. So let's see what's coming out, okay? Let's see what's coming out. Um, we're gonna dive right in. If you want your prayers on the previous video, let's get right to it. So let's see. Holy Spirit, holy angels, ancestors, and spirit guys, show me what's going on around my Virgos. This video is gonna resonate with Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. I am Empress Meek, by the way. And thank you guys for your love and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. Hey, to all my new family members and subscribers. Let's see what's going on. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods, thank you for blocking and bonding all monitoring spirits, witchcraft, and wickedness. Thank you for bonding and bonding and banishing any familiar and unfamiliar spirits, confusing the enemy on our behalf, keeping me protected as a vessel of love and light for the Virgos and all who are drawn to these readings. Okay. Overall energy for Virgo. What's the vibes? Dang. Y'all always have somebody obsessed. Look at that. Watching you. Hey, yo. Baby, and you're bored. You're like, ciao, bye. You are so bored. What is going on here? All right, nothing else came out. Let's see. Doors closed. It says not the right time for love. Not ready. So this could be for my Virgos. Y'all could just be feeling like I'm not wanting anybody in my energy right now. I'm taking care of me. Hold on, y'all. Let me get this card off the floor. So we got secret work lover. It says I secretly want you. We can be a great team together. I love that you're smart and ambitious. Ooh. So somebody that you work with has your eye. Okay. What is this going on here? Is this a work husband or a work wife? What's happening here? <laughs> somebody really has their eye on you. All right. So right now, basically what I'm seeing is I'm seeing that you're bored with the situation that you're currently dealing with. Something that you recently got out of. It could have been somebody who thought they were a trickster. Somebody you found out was kind of a fraud. All right. Somebody who was just unreliable they had unjustifiable motives right trying to control you or manipulate you just being very fake and pretending right and for some of you guys it's a water sign or somebody who you have children with a father figure might be significant or i could be talking to my males about somebody that they met all right and then so after you close this door, I feel like you guys have been just pampering yourself, taking care of yourself, doing some self-care. This is what I have for you right now, surrounding energy, all right, in your life. Like, I feel like you're doing your best to try to take care of yourself. Um, and I feel like a lot of you are going through a lot of different situations. Um, there's a lot happening in your life. And I feel like you're doing very well tempering everything. Um, and you're making it look really easy and calm, like nothing is going on. But there is a lot of different situations playing out in your life at this time. For a lot of you guys, it's just sharpening your intuition. It's preparing you for the things that you have to come in your near future. Um, for a lot of you guys also, I feel like these are situations happening to make you or help you tap into your gifts more and also control your anger. Control your responses. Control your reactions. Okay? So, yeah. Um, but I see you um, practicing self-love. You're treating yourself. Um, this card is suggesting that you take yourself out on a date. Do something nice for yourself. Take some time out for you. All right? Meanwhile, you guys have somebody who is obsessed. And they're watching you. But I feel like you're bored with this energy. Um, it's somebody that you don't really trust. You already know you can't trust them. But they can't keep their eyes off you. They can't keep you off their mind. Like this person is desperate. And not only are they desperate, they're just, it's somebody who won't take no for an answer. It says, I'm yours, your mind. The chemistry is insane. I can't keep my hands off you. So this is somebody who has a strong desire for you, 
maybe when you're close to this person or whatever, they just want to touch on you and feel on you and they keep focusing on everything about you, okay? Somebody make, you make somebody feel, look at my mover and turn to purple. You make somebody feel very happy, very excited, okay? Um, that's what I feel right now. Um, but sure, you don't care, all right? And for some of you, it's this person at work and you don't care how much they watch you. You just are not interested. For some of you guys, you don't even know this person is watching you. Um, but overall energy, you're closing doors. I feel like you closed a cycle recently or you're just cutting people off left and right. Like you don't care. Heads are rolling because if they don't fit the criteria that you need to have peace in your life, you don't want it, right? Um, and I feel like you've been getting frustrated with these situations that's been coming up. Yeah, like certain, like dating, dating people and the people that you're meeting, it's just annoying because it's so many people that are fraud, right? And you're finding that out as you give these people a chance. And it's very agitating. It's very annoying. <clears throat> yeah, it's very annoying. Um, And it kind of takes your joy down and your optimism down when it comes to looking for a relationship, when it comes to actually giving love a chance. You have mixed emotions about it. Yeah, that's the energy that I'm feeling behind this, this energy. When we're talking about how you view the situation and how you feel about it. It's like, this doesn't make you happy, right? So you're doing your best to take care of yourself and focus on you. Um, and you're releasing the energies that you need to release, closing chapters, um, and you're just bored with the whole thing, dating and whatever else. Like, you just really, you're over it. A lot of dead-end dates, right? So, I see that. All right, so romance is not the best the best area of your life at this time, but it's going to get better. I really feel that. Um, I felt the energy before I even started the reading. I thought this would be some type of love reading, but I was drawn to get the overall energy so different scenarios can come out. All right, but... We're about to move forward. Let's see what else is here for you. Let's see what other situations might be going on in your energy. Um, but just know that somebody is obsessed. Somebody is watching you. And you're just bored with the whole thing. Um, and then you got a secret work lover. So we can look into these cards here and try to find out exactly what's going on. Let's take a look. Let's um, clarify these cards before we move on to the next portion. This is going to be a quicker reading, okay? Like how I used to do something quick, not too long. So let's see. Let's see who this is that might be obsessed. Somebody is doubting themselves in this Eight of Swords energy, self-doubt, worry. So let's see. Let's get a message from this person that might be watching you too. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for Virgo. Show me clear messages. <laughs> Show me clear messages for Virgo. So don't worry, you have something good coming. Something's coming right towards you. You just saw it. Um, let's see what this person is thinking. Um, where's my other cards? Because something's telling me not these cards. These cards over here. Okay. All right. Let's see what this person is saying. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Show Virgo what they need to see about this energy surrounding them. I feel empty without you. I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things in my life. I can see myself with you for the long term. Wow. Underneath the bottom of the deck, please forgive me. So it could be this person that you close a cycle on. They're still wanting this. They're still obsessing over you. Like, you know, 
it just feels really weird. Like this energy feels very strange. And it feels like somebody is literally stressing themselves out, trying to force the outcome that they want with you. But you just don't want to deal with this person. Let's see how you feel about this person. Show, show me the energy, Virgo, toward this person. Using your intuition. Yeah, so you just feel like I'm sorry, like the world a ending for a new beginning. You're like, I'm sorry, this cycle is complete. I learned the lessons I need to learn here. You show me a part of you that I'm just accepting. I don't want to make excuses for anybody. I'm believing what I see, what I feel. And my intuition is not wrong about this. I'm closing this cycle. I'm not interested. I'm sorry, but no. Um, You're the star. So right now you're in this energy of um, rejuvenating. And you're feeling very vibrant, very beautiful. You feel very balanced. Like you have a lot of good energy moving through you. Um, you might not have all good days, but overall in your heart space, you know that you are a prize. You know that you are worth a lot more than what's than settling for something that, you know, somebody is giving you temporarily. It looks like somebody is offering you some type of emotional experience. Um, could even be sex. Um, somebody could have a lot of feelings for you and emotions, but I feel like this ace of cups energy, it's an opportunity for you to have some type of emotional fulfillment, but you're using your intuition because this could be all this person is offering. So you're deciding, um, and I feel like something happened here where somebody did something that could have hurt your feelings. Um, but you're deciding to heal from this energy four of swords. Like you're focused on yourself. You could be meditating about what you want to do moving forward. Yeah. And I feel like you're standing your ground. Somebody definitely does want to work with this, work on this with you. Um, but I feel like it's a missed opportunity. I feel like you with this four of cups, I see the four of cups as I'm going through the cards. And I feel like you offered this person an opportunity to get closer to you, to be in your life, but they blew it. And they just won't let it go. That's what I see here. And it could be a uh, Pisces. It could be an Aquarius. And it could be a water sign. It could also be an earth sign. Because the first thing we saw was that Ace of Pentacles energy. Um, and I feel like that's what you have coming towards you if you don't settle for less. Like you literally are going to get exactly what you wanted if you don't settle. All right. So keep that in mind as you're moving forward and maneuvering through these situations. Let's see what else is going on around you that you need to know about. Let's find out. Mm, what cards? What cards? Let's see what else. Yeah, these people got you bored as crap. Let's see. Is there anything else going on around my Virgos that they need to know? What else is going on around my Virgos that they need to know? Yeah, that's the overall energy here. You're just really bored. Here it is again. You're avoiding somebody completely. And they're watching you. Looking, stalking, gaslighting, saying whatever they need to say or just really wanting to talk to you. They're stalking, keeping a close eye on you. Somebody is so obsessed, it's sad. And you're not liking this person. You're like, oh no, hell no, get away from me, no. And you could be still angry about something that they did. Um, they Somebody showed you who they really are. And this person is a very nasty person with a bad attitude and you're not interested. It's like it goes against everything that you want in a person and they showed you who they are. And... <laughs> You just, it's like it made you run the other way. I mean, it really rubbed you the wrong way. Because I feel like all you saw was how the future would be if you kept this person around. And it would be very stressful, very burdensome. And you'll be ready to choke this person out. And nobody wants to go to jail. Okay? <laughs> You're trying to hold on to your peace here. 
Um, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, or person, boundaries, still angry. So some of you guys um, don't appreciate what they did. And I feel like you're not forgiving them. You could forgave them, but you don't want them back in your life. Somebody got the game twisted. They think just because you forgave them, you're going to let them back in. No, you don't want to deal with them no more. And somebody just can't understand that. This person's struggling. The chaser. It's like they won't let it go. I feel like some this person must not be getting much attention or somebody's not treating them well. And I feel like you did. I feel like <laughs> whatever it is that this person is lacking, you saw past that. Because you see people in the soul, right? You see people's heart, their soul, their spirit, their energy. You see all of these things. And I feel like these things are much more attractive than you to you, attractive to you. Um, not that you want a gruesome person, but I feel like looks aren't everything, even though you do want somebody that you're attracted to that is attractive, but you see first in the heart, you see first their energy, their soul, their spirit, who they are. And the way you love people is unconditional. It's like no other. And it, and this is what really moves these people and makes them attached to you. Your love is magnetic and they can't replace it. And so it makes them long for you. It makes them continue to think about you. It makes them revisit your energy and things of that nature. That's why it always pops back up and things like that. Because you really, whether you realize it or not, Virgo, you're not easy to replace. And it's not easy to fully let go of you. Because these people know after you decide to finally walk away, that they're not going to find the same type of love. They know that. All right? You truly are a gift to these people. Remember that. Let's see. So we got the phoenix. A new phase. And I felt that. I felt that. You moving on. Closing the cycle. That's why we saw the world card. Um, transformation and a changed mind. You change your mind about this person. You don't want to be a part of this type of energy anymore. Um, palm tree. You're focused on stability and security. Permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. And these are the things that you feel like this person was lacking. Whatever they showed you, it goes against whatever you wanted. And so you're done. Like, you're serious. Somebody could keep calling you and trying to text you. Um, this person is probably going to call you and reach out to you and tell you that they're thinking about you. But to be honest, Virgo, I feel like you've already let this go. We saw it. Like, you... I honestly feel like you're not going to answer or you're just not going to give them the response that they're looking for. This says, um, you got the Grim Reaper. This says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. And I feel like this is what you're telling that person. Honestly, somebody really, somebody really messed up and it's over and they don't get it. They're having closure issues here with the bow card, really desperately wanting to move forward with you. They desperately want to have a connection with you and fix things. And I feel like you're ignoring their call. Not today. Love call. You're blocking them. Somebody is blocked. All right. They are. Yeah, they're thinking about union. But you found out that somebody was mirroring you. Yeah, you found out that somebody was mirroring you. With this self-indulgence, so now you're focused on yourself. But you definitely found out that somebody was mirroring your energy. It's like whatever you said, they said. So you, it's, it's like you can't trust this person at all. Let me move this up some. Sorry, guys. That's me. But yeah, you can't trust this person. And I feel like you've realized that. Yep, they're mirroring everything you say and do. Yeah, you're focused on yourself. You really are. Like, you are really over these people. You're tired of it. You sick of the spies. You sick of the ignorant people. You sick of the old children. Because it doesn't matter the age sometimes. Somebody, sometimes they still act like they're young, like they're immature, they're inexperienced, and it's just annoying, right? It's so, it just makes you discouraged a little bit, thinking that you're not going to find what you need, but don't believe that. Just understand that these, this is practice, okay? This is just practice. You got to learn how to temper your emotions and all those things, because the person that you're asking for is going to expect that of you, okay? They're going to be able to do that, because you're asking for somebody who can do that, who can temper their emotions, who can work well under pressure and things of that nature. So you're just being groomed to be more of what you want.
Okay, that's all. So look on the bright side, okay? Um, but we do have this energy. We have you avoiding this person. Let's get some tarot on this so we can close out this reading. Let's close out your reading, love. Let's see. For my Virgos. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides for Virgo. Hey, my loveys. Show Virgo what they need to see, Spirit. Going on with this situation. Got my Virgos bored and annoyed, honey. Bored and annoyed. But that's okay. Let's bring the Virgos some positive energy. What can we tell the Virgos this evening about their situation that's surrounding them? What's for their highest good spirit? Yeah, successful into this cycle. Taurus, there's a Taurus that's closing a cycle with you or you're closing a cycle with a Taurus. Successfully completed this cycle, something, somebody was definitely trying to bait you in. Um, it looks like you're ignoring something. Four of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Mmm, Four of Wands and it's okay. Let's see. So, this Taurus is in a relationship. So, somebody's married. Somebody's in a relationship. Take it as it resonates. This could be common law marriage. They could have been dealing with somebody for a very long time. But they're definitely holding on to somebody from the past. This person tried to portray themselves as open, free, available. Um, this could be an earth sign. But I see Taurus. But it could be a Capricorn or a Virgo as well. Um, I also see a water sign. Um... It's soulmate energy here, but somebody is just not available. Um, somebody has some type of relationship going on or a living situation, so they're holding back their energy. Um, you already knew that this person was gaslighting. You also know that this person keeps their eye on you. Somebody is spying on you, watching you. Um, they could frequent where you live. They could see you going and coming um, wherever you are. Somebody has your phone number, um, but I feel like you're blocking out this person. They're going to call you and tell you that they've been thinking about you or whatever the case may be. But there's a need for you to really be focused, really be strong and close out this cycle um, because there's something better coming. It's a need for you to stand your ground. Um, we got the seven of coins here. So your hard work is going to pay off. Yes, um, but it requires some patience. So you don't want to rush anything here. Um, the world card is a good card for you right now. Um, judging by the rest of the cards, you're closing it out so you can start a new phase. All right. This is opening the door for something brand new, something that you want. All right. Something that you're manifesting. A lot of you are manifesting a new life, a new love. All right. And there's a need for you to use your intuition here with the high priestess energy. Okay. So get ready for this energy coming towards you. Um, but this person is going to call you and tell you how they feel. Um, as we saw, this person does have feelings for you. This person desperately wants you to forgive them or let them back in your life. But you're just bored with the situation. Not only that, they caught you at a horrible time because not only did it not go well with them, but you keep meeting people and it's just not going well with these people. And you really want a date. You want somebody, but your peace is so much more important. And I feel like you're not willing to sacrifice that for somebody who is just going to be gone in a day, a week, or a month. Like, you're over it, right? <laughs> the high priestess is she who knows. So, Spirit is basically reminding you that you're powerful, you're intuitive, and your intuition is not wrong about these situations. So, trust yourself. You're doing the right thing. But we did just get the tower in reverse on the floor. So, there is somebody who is not learning their lesson here. Somebody who doesn't want this to be over. But you, my love, are learning yours. This emperor, this empress energy, the Taurus energy, doesn't want this to be over. I feel like you're constantly telling somebody. It's like you're trying to tell this person the right thing. That's going to be a long overdue conversation. I feel like you guys are going to talk about this, right? And it's <sighs> this person just is not getting it. And it's like, I feel like because they already have some type of living situation going on or something like that, um, for some of them, they're hiding it, but somebody definitely does live with someone. They already have someone, right? And I feel like they're not learning their lessons. They still want to talk to you. 
it's a need for you to cut them off all right but somebody is going to come down your it's gonna they're coming towards you and they're gonna want to talk to you they do somebody is regretting how they handled you yeah they're regretting somebody is regretting what they said to you regretting how they made you feel um for some of y'all this honestly could be a mother figure because we got the queen of cups and the empress this could definitely be somebody's mother Somebody could be dealing with a cancer, but somebody wants to talk to you about their feelings. Um, but you don't want to deal with this person. I feel like overall energy, that's very specific for somebody, okay? Because the overall energy is this is a love situation. This has something to do with you dating, the dead end dates, and you being bored with the, the options that you've been getting. It just hasn't been right. And then you got this person that's obsessed and they keep coming back and you're annoyed. Like you don't want to talk to this person. You want this person to leave you alone. Some of y'all even said block my number. I mean, delete my number. Some of y'all asked this person to delete your number. Somebody is holding on to you and stressed out thinking about the conversations. Somebody is really feeling sad. It's like they're trying to hold on for pentacles. But somebody is feeling sad. They're stressed thinking about this. Show me the two of cups. Three of Cups. Wow. But with the Two of Cups and the Three of Cups, somebody could want to get together with you, take you out, go on a date. But it's a third-party situation. It's like they already have somebody, but they're trying to bring you into the situation. That's so funny. They're stressing. They're thinking about you a lot. They're thinking about you a lot. Look at this. Knight of Wands energy. Wanting to come towards you. Somebody's thinking about you sexually. With this wand glowing, it's like you really turn this person on a lot. And they've been thinking about you. Somebody doesn't care. Like, they want to bring you in. For some of y'all, this could be somebody in a polynamorous relationship. Where they have three. Where it's three of you. Um, I think I said that right. Um, but... For some of you, it's just somebody who's just greedy. They want their cake and eat it too. They don't care if they got a relationship. You turn them on. They want you to. All right? But somebody is thinking about you passionately and they want you to come toward them. Wow. Show me the four of wands. Somebody wants you to... Look, somebody wants to come to your house. Page of coins. Somebody wants to come see you. And the eight of wands. You could definitely be seeing this person in passing. Some of y'all dealing with the Sagittarius. What's up with the Sagittarius? The Sagittarius wants to message you. They want to text you. The moon. They secretly want to talk to you. But they're having some type of conflict because you make this person feel reckless. Like this person wants to rush into you and talk to you. This person could be kind of... I feel like there was an exchange. See, and this is what this person wants to talk to you about. Now they want to talk, they want to talk over this argument or this disagreement you had. Whoever this is, they got out of character with you. And how they treated you is really stressing them out. Like they keep thinking about you. Somebody is having nightmares or dreams about you, or whatever the case may be. And they can't figure out why they can't stop thinking about you, but they want to deal with you. Somebody wants you to come over their house or they want to come over your house. But I feel like this person, for some of y'all, this person deals with somebody already. For some of you, they, it's something here about frustration when it comes to thinking about being in a relationship. It's like, I don't, they had some type of messed up situation. Look, they feel like they spilled all the cups out. Somebody's in deep regret. And they want to talk to you. But somebody's holding it in. They're eventually going to call you. They're going to call you and talk to you. And they want to have a talk about the things that y'all went through. But you're not trying to talk to this person. You feel like if they call you, it's going to be nothing but trouble. Yeah, you're moving on the common waters. Look, it's like, I don't want to argue with anybody. I don't want to fight to keep anybody. I don't want to battle just to be in love. That's crazy. Those two don't even go together. It's just like, I'm good on that. I'm good on all of it. So some of y'all are just like chilling. You're just relaxing, enjoying yourself and understanding that this is all a process, right? But um, 
it looks like this person is going to call you. Let's find out something about this call real quick, and then we'll close out the video reading. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and God, show Virgo what's this phone call going to be about for Virgo? What's this phone call going to be about? I see the Queen of Swords here, so you're standing your ground. Somebody could be dealing with the air sign. Look at this. Look what turned over in my lap. Yeah, this person spies on you or they're wanting to talk to you, trying to get up the nerve to come and approach you. Somebody thinks you're very attractive. Um, but you feel like this person is bringing you illusions. There's some type of confusion between you and this person. Somebody could also be smoking a lot of weed, thinking about you. This person could be smoking. Show me the conversation between Virgo and this person. What's going on with the conversation? So the Ace of Pentacles, an offer, an opportunity for stability here if both people work together. But for some of y'all, this person is in a relationship. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Stressed out. Wow. So somebody's lonely. While they're in a relationship, they're lonely. And they're, they've been talking to other people or they want to talk to you. They want to equal give and take. They're not getting that at home. So this person is thinking about you. They, they're they trying to talk to you. But you got your guards up. So this person is going to be talking about that. They want to talk to you about this. And they want to tell you how much they've been thinking about you. Nine of cups like you're their wish. But this person, it's like... Mm. Yeah, they're in a relationship. Ten of Pentacles. They want to <laughs> look at this. They want to give to you and the situation that they're in. This person is crazy. This is why you don't want to be bothered with them. It's like, what is your problem? And how dare them try to give you only half when you deserve everything? You deserve it all. Like, no. So, Spirit is saying, protect your heart. Be on guard. Watch this person. Don't fall for their games. You've already been hurt before. You've recognized this energy. This lady looks like she see a, a ghost. Okay? You've recognized, you've recognized this energy. All right? So don't fall for their tricks. Just hold out. Stay balanced. And speak your peace. And get rid of this person. Because something better is coming towards you. Once you get rid of this person. But here's the communication. This person definitely wants to talk to you. Um, and it is soulmate energy, so it could be a strong pull, but stay your ground, okay? All right, guys, I love you. Thank you for being here with me, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful rest of your evening or day. I'll see you soon. Bye, my lovies.